What's going on, guys? It's Pod1013. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this is the very first episode of 30 Games in 30 Days, which is kind of my way of uh, saying I'm sorry for not uh, producing any content for a while. Um, I do apologize for that. I've had, you know, some crap come up in, in uh, non-internet life. Um, so, finally getting everything back, got everything worked out now, so we're going to go ahead and uh, play one of the very first games I ever played on PC. Uh, and you actually get to pick your own names. We'll do Pod, uh, Noodles, Skank, uh, IB, and Penis. Yes. Alright, uh, we're going to go ahead and start. We'll leave in April. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get our little purchase stuff done. Um, ammunition. Uh, clothing. Um, we'll do... do, 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 do. Uh, oh shit, uh, 2,000 pounds of food, um, clothing, uh, two sets for each person, um, we'll do uh, um, 10 sets, um, and oxen will do 9, uh, just because we can. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, uh, and that's exactly why, that music is just so ridiculously loud. Um, going to go ahead and switch to a grueling pace, leave our rations the same, uh, and we should be able to get about 40 miles a day. So it's 102, 62. Alright, we're going about 40 miles a day. Um, IB got bit by a snake. We're three days into the damn trip, man. Uh, no, we're actually not going to stop and look around, uh, just because and we'll cock the wagon. Um, just because the music is so loud. If it wasn't so loud, I'd do that. And I don't know how to disable the sound um, with what I'm using, so it sucks. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue to the Big Blue River. Should be there in no time. Ten miles left. Um, no. It's four feet deep. We're going to cock the wagon again. Now, I've cocked the wagon before, uh, and it's... You know, made me fall over and die. Um, there's also uh, floating it on a ferry that comes up a couple of times. Um, and I've actually seen it crash there. I didn't think that was possible. Skank broke his fucking leg. Jesus Christ, man. Come on. Alright, let's do this. Come on, we're at Fort Kearney. It looks like a little schoolhouse. A little four-star flag. No. Yes, 250 miles, and there's a severe blizzard on April 14th or some shit. Still snow on the ground, as indicated by the white bar. Uh, thief came by and stole 71 pounds worth of food. That's okay, if he would have just asked, I probably would have shot him in the face. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, one of the oxen got injured, probably tried to wander away like Skank did, and broke its fucking leg. Um, let's see what happens here. Chimney Rock. No. Going to Fort Laramie. Speed run. Oregon Trail speed run. Let's keep that hype going. <laughs> um, yeah, let's take a look. We'll take a look at the grave sites. Um, here lies Voland. Hey, hey, hey. Come out and play. Uh, Fort Laramie. Like to look around. Um, no. Gonna keep going. Another freaking blizzard. Lost another day. Keeping it going on April. 26th so we've now been traveling on the trail for a month uh, 700 miles have uh, or 800 miles had gone by um, all this just trying to just trying to figure it out um, we're gonna go ahead and head to independent river or something I don't remember what it said I'm like half paying attention to be perfectly honest. Um, uh, no, um, we're gonna go ahead and head for the Green River. It's faster. Green River's right there. Um, 21 feet deep. We're gonna go ahead and take the ferry, and we'll have to wait two days. So we'll wait two days. Yes. Um. About this game, I started playing this when I was in grade school. It was like, and that's back when uh, computers were still housed, like all in one setup. There was no separate, 
PS2 or USB. USB wasn't even thought of. Um, 256 RAM was an immense amount. And that's kilobytes, not gigs. Um, and to see kind of how the evolution the penis has color. <laughs> I love that shit. Um, uh, this is all before games came on discs, and you could download them and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and you had to actually go into the command of DOS and in at physically type out the commands to make the computer access the information on the discs. And as you did that, it would allow you to play the game and all that good shit. Wow. Three sets of clothing and 63 bullets. Betcha! Alright, moving on. So yeah, this is one of the very, very first games um, I ever played there, uh, and it's kind of stuck with me. Like, I've got, you know, a, a buddy of mine has a 3D TV, and I loaded up my laptop, um, plugged it in, and actually played this on a 3D TV. I've played it on a curved TV, um, stuff that has, like, so much better graphics than this ever would have. And... Um, we're actually able to I'm gonna cock the wagon again. Um, we're actually able to play the games and stuff like this. Oh shit! Am I gonna make it? Yes. All right. Cool. Um, playing games and stuff like this were, you know, the, uh, a very small hobby, a very small pastime. It wasn't something that you know everybody did. I was just fortunate enough to have one. And this game, and learning how to do um, all the little uh, commands that you have to do to work in DOS and get around a, a PC at that time, um, made me fall in love with computers and video games, and it's stuck ever since. Um, but what I'm going to be doing uh, for the next few, or the next 30 days, uh, just kind of give you guys a heads up about that. Um, I'm going to be playing 30 different games. Now, I'm not going to play all of them all the way through, uh, just because there's some of them I want to play that are like 140 playable hours, and I'm not really wanting to try to do a straight run through and then upload that to YouTube, because it's kind of dumb. Um, plus, games that are usually like that take fucking forever. Uh, but I will be playing some Game Boy games, uh, Super Nintendo, NES, PlayStation, um, all kinds of different stuff. I've got a bunch of uh, uh, old systems and games um, that are always fun to play uh, and always a blast to um, actually go back to. Floating down the river. Alright, now this is the perhaps the most action filled portion of this entire game except for maybe hunting which I didn't do um, which I could have done uh, or I should have done actually um, but this is just as uh, just as fun just as entertaining um, all you have to do it's pretty straightforward just avoid the rocks uh, there's gonna be a little white arrow on a stick that kinda rolls by the little bottom portion of the screen should be one coming up soon uh, and that indicates, there it is, that you are in the heading in the right direction. Uh, you pass three of those signs, uh, and then two little squiggly lines will replace one of them, and uh, or two little squiggly lines will show up, and that's where you need to land. Uh, and that indicates that you have reached your destination, and are now able to safely uh, disembark. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, so just kind of playing these little games and stuff it's been uh, been real nice to actually go back um, to some of my favorite games that I haven't gotten to play in years um, just due to, to, to time or to playing other stuff honestly um, stuff like uh, Metal Gear Final Fantasy um, you know back in the day like and I'm not talking like Final Fantasy X3.18 or whatever the fuck they're on now. Um, I'm talking like Final Fantasy 3 on 
PlayStation. Or Final Fantasy VII on PlayStation, which was um, really awesome. I played Final Fan. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Jesus Christ, that was loud. God damn. Ah! Uh, congratulations, you've made it to Oregon. Let's see how many points you have received. Uh, five people in poor health, 1,500. Uh, one wagon, uh, 50. 17 oxen, because I think two wandered off. Or, one died, and I think one wandered off. Um, nine spare parts. Uh, 13 sets of clothing, 163 bullets, 664 pounds of food, $635 in cash. It's an 1818. I'm going to point this out. Um, just a few minutes ago, I tried to do this recording and for some reason didn't have the microphone hooked up. Um, and I actually got a high score of 1515, which is right below this one. Boom. So, sl fared slightly better. I think Noodles died in the last game. So, um, no, I don't want to make any changes. All right, and that's going to do it for the first episode of 30 Games, 30 Days. This is Pod 1013 saying thank you guys so much for watching. Um, tell your friends. Uh, if you have any suggestions for games that you want to see me play uh, over the course of the next 30 days, uh, just hit me up on Twitter at pod 1013. It's pretty self-explanatory um, You know like comment subscribe share all that good shit um, And other than that, thank you all for watching. Have a great day